here the Kaplan turbine is mechanically coupled with the rotor of the generator. The pressure water is sent through the turbine and the rotor is wounded with copper and the stator is arranged over it. Similarly, the total body of the elements are covered. Here the penstock is connected in front to the turbine to pass the pressure water through it. We can see how the generator is arranged systematically with the turbine and penstock. This operation is done through many controlling elements. So the control room present at the plant itself. This is the overview of the plant. Now the generated supply by plant is sent to the grid by the transmission system where the power again is distributed to the distribution system. If you see the pen stock, consider its length up to 4000 meters, nearly 4 kilometers. It started from the canal. Before the pen stock, there are arranged many filters. There are rough filter, flux control, fine filter through the main pipe and mud duct, fish duct. With this, a bridge is arranged over the canal to control the fish duct and the mud duct. Hi friends, this is our mini Hadel power plant and this is present in the Chintakunta which is nearly 3 km away from our Kerminaga and it is in the route of Vemlavada road. The canal water for Saraswati Hydel power plant is gained from the SRSP canal that is Sriram Sagar Pride canal. If the canal water with high pressure is passed through the plant throughout the day, then the power plant can generate 20,000 to 30,000 units of energy. We know that one unit cost is 3 rupees 50 paisa for the domestic and 7 rupees for the industrial. We can see the filters here. These filters will avoid the uh, dust and the fishes and the waste materials in the canal and if you filter the elements and send the pure uh, I mean the refreshed water to the turbine so behind the filter there will be presence of gate that gates will be opened and closed those the opening and closing of the gate can be operated through the induction motor present above the uh, plant you can see those things the induction motor is connected through a rope and through the rope the gates are opened and closed the plant, we can see the two generators which will produce one megawatt. These generators of type 3-phase squirrel gauge induction generator. Since each generator produces one megawatt each, so the total capacity of the plant is two megawatts. The efficiency of each generator is 95.5%. These generators are cooled by passing oil through it with high pressure, nearly 40 liters of oil is passed through the generator in a minute for cooling. Here the type of the oil used for cooling is ISO VG32. Again by using the radiators the heated oil is cooled up. These generators will rotate a constant speed of 758 rpm and each generator will produce 3.3 kV of voltage and 210 amps of current. This is the control room. You can see different switches, breakers, controllers to operate the generator and also for managing the generator supply from generators. In this control room, all the readings of the running instrument are noted and if any fault occurs, the relay tends to operate through the control room. This is the small substation present in the plant where the generator 11 kV supply is stepped up to 33 kV by power transformer and sent to grid through the transmission lines. Okay, 
Now, the power generated from the power plant, that is 11 kV from our mini, mini hydro power plant, is given to the grid. And it is a see the lines which are from the grid is connected to the bus bus in this distribution system. I mean, in the substation. From the bus bus, the supply is passes to the cities which are uh, which are present after the AB switch breaker and it is the city which is connected to the input of the distribution system and we can see these cities are the are the type of vacuum circuit breaker whenever the fault occurs they will break down itself now the supply from the cities are given to the PTR which are power transformer they will step down the input or step up the input that is they will step up the supply or step down the supply here we are seeing the power transformer which is of the capacity 8 mega volt amp here it is step downing the supply that is 33 kV to the 11 kV supply and this 11 kV is again passes to the CTs and PTs to the feeder these are the output from the feeder the output supply from the feeder is sent to the our town or domestic area or consumer area according to the requirement